Uh, my name is Klaus Hibsen. I just wanted to do a video recording of uh, upcoming features coming in Camera 4.8 um, and you know polished a bit for the next release 4.9. So um, I want to show um, working with uh, integration with Camel where you integrate two systems and you know classic systems are message broker and FTP. So we have a basic example here. You can find it on GitHub on this example here, ActiveMQ to FTP. Now um, the example is um, loaded into Visual Studio and I have loaded the uh, Kyoto tool uh, provided by Red Hat and they, uh, it's a visual tool for designing camera integrations. Uh, it's, um, this example is basic, just a single route from GMS to, to FTP. So I can say here I'm from GMS, this is the queue name, uh, cheese, yeah, just to show you <coughs> that is um, the name I chose to type in. Um, there's a locking here, incoming, I'm just locking the message bucket. <clears throat> and then the FTP component, I'll, I'll run it locally. I'll, I will show you later how, how I do that on standard port. I run in passive mode and there's a lot of options you can configure. Uh, you can probably also see the help for these and so on. But the security option, just want to show you that's where you can set up the username and password and the tool can mask the information very nicely. So that's a very basic camel route. Um, you can also see it um, how it will look like in the source code. This is basic standard camel YAML DSL. So if you were able, you could also type this by hand. But you know, when it gets a bit bigger, then you know, it gets a bit harder to do by hand. And that's where the visual tools like Kyoto is, is, is recommended or um, other tools like Karen. So here you can see all the thing very uh, simple. Now in this example there are two systems. I I, uh, I believe in trying, you know, asking the computer, see what happens for real, right? There are things where you can simulate things and definitely with Camel as well, you can simulate uh, acting as an FTP server or DMS and whatnot. And you can sort of just focus on the internal camera bits and see if messages are routed between the different endpoints in Camel as supposed to. But one that's one thing. Another thing is to actually use the real thing, GMS, uh, protocols and FTP protocols and things like that. So I have two actual systems running, um, uh, Apache Artemis as the message broker and FTP server as well. Now um, I am actually using this locally uh, using Docker and that's a Docker Compose file, uh, beautiful. Basically just running Artemis here, you can see the configuration for that, some credentials to log in. And the FTP server is uh, sort of like a um, thank you for that. Um, good, very good uh, FTP server just for testing and playing around. Now, in your organization, you, you should definitely also t test with the actual FTP server that you're going to be using for real, right? Maybe you have a, a test login or something like that. But using Docker and running locally can definitely get you uh, far, far ahead. So this is running, and now I want to actually just to here in my terminal this is oh this is the docker compose logs if i just see you can see the server command here that's very good to troubleshoot you can see on the server side okay what is the ftp server working and responding and things like that so over here i just want to say i can uh, uh, connect to localhost um, and then i need to my user but and my password uh, and then I need to run in passive mode. And then I can see if there's any file. There is directly sent. Okay, there's no file. And you can see here what the FTP server will respond. So how do you excuse me? So how do we send a message to the DMS queue and, and then actually see it's landing up in the FTP? So what we need to do is to run this thing in the camel thing and then send a message to the Mrs. Broker, uh, let's see how we can do that. So in Kyoto, there's this button up here you can click on and then it will run the thing. Uh, don't mind, there was the previous one. So now Camel is started um, pretty fast, 300 milliseconds up and running. And how do you send the message to uh, ActiveMQ? There are multiple ways. Uh, let's uh, use the web console. So Artemis comes with a web console uh, 8161. 
uh, here and then there's some you can see the queues there's the cheese queue and there's a beer cube I've been playing a little bit but now because I, I increased the font in the web browser then the button to send are actually um, a bit confusing where it is I have I want to send a message to cheese yes here it is send message just mind that this one can get hidden because there's so many tabs so I want to send a message and I just say hello world from video or whatever and send so we go uh, to our FTP server and then let's see if something happens uh, yes there's apparently a file called QT null <laughs> okay um, so okay that was um, fine so that's actually one file just the name of the file is is um, is a bit um, strange so here is incoming hello world from video that's what I'm typing okay so that's it right so we have um, processed one message from ActiveMQ to via camel to the FTP server but <clears throat> there is um, um, yeah, so you can also uh, go in here, say new terminal. You can you can actually run do everything from um, from Visual Studio and running a terminal. You can kind of do a lot of things. So there's this camel jbang command um, that can give you status information of camel. So it, you can see here it's been running for two minutes. So if I take camel get, this gives you a little more details and the versions and so on. So it has basically processed one message successfully. Um, and the, the new feature I want to talk about is actually something called browsing. So camel command, there's something called browse. So what you can do with that is to browse. Some components allow us to browse their queues, um, files, and etc. to tell you um, number of messages are in those uh, destinations uh, and be actually also to to in, in uh, dump them and see the, the actual information so this is a way to quickly see that on the FTP server there's one message um, one file um, if you no know, I was logging in right so we expect that will be one file and I can also dump the file um, so here I can dump I can actually see this is from the there's one message one of one uh, out of one in total and all the headers from camel yeah the, you can see here the q cheese thing and uh, that's why it is named like that now the, the content of the uh, message is currently not being included uh, because there are essentially uh, let's say a performance penalty if you need to go on the ftp server not only get the directory listing of the files to count them or maybe get some basic information but if you want to uh, include the actual content right then you need to download the, the thing and then display in in the console if need be so there's a potential optimization or a new option you can say okay i want to not only uh, count the message or the names etc but i also want to see the content itself so you can see that it says hello world uh, from video and so on but currently it will just say that there is a file so that's one right and and without dump you can sort of get a nice table of everything so there could potentially also be messages on the dms queue etc sort of pending as well so uh, okay so but um how do you send a message to the message broker without having to go to the web console so that's where um we can um, the readme file will tell you that as well but there's another command called camel command send I want to send and the body is a file code named payload that's sort of like a, a basic file now if I execute this command it will send the message to the um, um, message queue because the message queue is the first route um, but you can also if you have multiple routes you can specify which one and so on but anyway this is sort of like a quick way to say I want to send a message to the message queue now it says it was successfully sent to the MS queue and as you know then the FTP server will then be routed to the FTP server so if I look here then there are two files uh, the second file is now with the uh, with the message ID as the file name because you know I didn't configure the integration to use a specific uh, strategy for file names so they are giving a, a message ID by default then so 
if I then say com command browse, then it should expect it to say two, and it does, right? There's two messages now. Um, so this is a sort of like a quick way to to <clears throat> be able to see um, if messages are sort of landing in the right places, so to speak. So this is a, so I don't necessarily need to use FTP client to connect to FTP server and do direct listening as I did in, in the terminal. But here from Camel, I can actually use Camel. Uh, so what happens is that when I type the command, it will actually um, sort of control the running Camel to tell the running Camel, okay, connect to the FTP server that you sent the message to, and then go and do a direct listing and, and report this information back to me. And then the, the command, the CLI command will then show them in nicely in, in a table and dumping it, etc. But you know, you're kind of eating your own dog food. So we're using Camel to to kind of uh, verify that messages are in the right place. And the similar thing is that to send messages to the message broker. Um, that also allows you to send messages to other queues then that are not necessarily part of your camera route. That's where I can send a message to the to the beer route uh, queue. Camel command send body equals um, beer just because and uh, and then the endpoint is because I want to send it to a destination that Camel doesn't have out of the box, you know the cheese queue, but I just want to send it to the beer queue instead. Okay, fingers crossed if this works. I, yes, now it says one, and if I tell browse, then what happens is that you now you can see there are two, uh, two messages on the beer queue. And why is that two? Well, the, because I, I did try this previously before recording and there was sort of like one message pending. Um, so that's also another thing and you can um, dump the message. Um, and here you can see that the different messages being dumped. So with the FTP, um, and there are two FTP files, right? And from the beer, there is two as well. One is hello. Um, this is uh, seven hours ago, apparently. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, yesterday, and this is just uh, uh, 29 seconds ago, big beer. So so this is the new command, the browse. It allows you to quickly look inside uh, um, components that support browsing. Uh, I will say that it's a, at the current time, it's limited maybe 10 or so components. Uh, it has a natural support for, for browsing, GMS, files, and some other message brokers. We're gonna expand on that and include the more cap browsing capabilities. And then it's also sort of like a, a chicken and egg situation because if let's say a system does not allow browsing, then the second best thing is to actually maybe consume the message and, and then show it, but then it will disappear from the system. The browsing sort of like a, it's a no up operation. So you can browse, you know, you won't change, you won't, the, the message will still stay on the queue and if to pick on the FTP server, the files will still exist there and so on. So it's sort of like, it doesn't hurt, right? But on other systems, there's no browsing capabilities and, and the client can only connect to the systems and please give me the message, right? And then you will consume them and then they're gone. So that's sort of like a, uh, an alternative that we will probably roll on in, in Camel 4.9 and so on. Anyway, so that's it. I just want to quickly demonstrate that. And you can go and find the example here on on GitHub, it's just JBang. We are focusing a lot of JBang, so that's um, many of these can be run locally with JBang and things like that, Camel JBang. Um, but they start out as camlets. That's why it's called Camel Camlets Examples. And inside the camlets, there are the JBang folder, um, many small examples uh, with all the cutting edge technologies around Camel. Okay, that's it. I think this video is complete now. Sorry for sort of like um, this style of video, but I we all very busy and I don't have the luxury of uh, do multiple takes and professional video recording. So this is just a low budget one, uh, just quickly to get going. So thanks for watching if you made it all to the end and have fun with Camel and give it a try, you know, 
uh, camera gear bank, the and if you're into visual editing, then you know Kyoto, Caravan, etc. are promising tools. So take a look at those as well. Okay, bye.